Hello in the next episode. Today I'm going to repair 40 inch LED Philips TV which is completely dead. So our patient is on the table right now. So let's fix it. All right, so our customer brought us the, that telly because he had the power surge when he was watching, you know, the telly. And after that, when the power is back, uh, the TV was still dead. So he brought us the telly to diagnose and fix it. Okay, so this is our telly. And this is a Philips model number is a 40PUT6400-12. This TV is quite old. It's manufactured in April 2016. All right, so let's plug now the power to it and see if we can see any light here. So no signs of life. You've got a button, and just press it. And we have no LED light. Nothing. The TV is completely dead. Alright, so let's remove the back of the telly and measure the voltages. Alright, so it's very important to wear uh, protection gloves. All right, so I'm going to check if you've got any voltage. So I'm going to plug the power right now. So the black probe on the ground. And let's check that fuse first. And we've got 109 volts. All right, so the other end, so the fuse is good. The fuse is good. All right, so now I'm going to measure the DC voltage all right so this is the wire here the wires the wires they go to the main board yeah so this is the main board so we should have some voltage here But we have no voltage at all. The power board is completely dead. Power board is completely dead. So we have no voltage at all. You know what? Sometimes when the main board is faulty, it can cause that problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect this wire, this cable, and I'm going to check the voltages right now. So we've got three boards in the telly. So this is the power board, this is the main board, and here we've got Ticon board. And the problem is with the power board, actually. We've got some voltages, but we don't have any DC voltages. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this board out and test all the components. 
component by component. So I've just disconnected this board. All right, so I've got my power board out of the teddy on my bench right now. So first, very important thing. You need to measure the, the biggest cups on the power board. See what voltage we've got. And then we need to discharge them straight away. This is for your safety. All right, so the multimeter in the DC mode. And let's measure the voltage on, that, on those big cups. Look at this. We've got 330 volts, so... You can get shocked by that, so... You know, the easiest way to discharge them... You know, this is my discharge discharging tool. And this is just, you know, 2 watts resistor. Resistor is 2.2 uh, kilo ohms. And it will discharge those cups very, very quickly. So I'm going to put it on the side. And let's discharge it quickly. You can discharge those cups by the screwdriver, but I, I don't recommend do this because you know it's the voltage is too high and you can get shocked or you can damage the components you can damage the power board all right so let's check those cups now and as you can see they are already discharged. I said it was very, very quick. So let's disconnect my dis discharging tool. And just to make sure, just take the screwdriver. Let me just measure one more time the cups. And we've got two volts. Let's discharge it one more time. All right. So now the power board is saved. What I'm going to do, I'm going to touch some of the MOSFETs just in case. All right, now the power board is saved. We can touch it. So let's measure some. Let's go into the continuity mode. So we've got a beep. First, what I'm going to do I'm going to test all those fuses. Yeah. Small here. Another one is here. We're gonna beep. Another one is here. And I'm going to test uh, the diodes just in beep mode. If they are not shorted. All right, that's fine. Here's one more fuse. With the protection resistor. Okay. Let's make sure this fuse is good. And we've got a beep. All right, next step. Well, I'm going to put one probe on the plus and another one on the minus. All right, so now all the MOSFETs, let's test, let's test them. Diode. Okay. 
That's all right. It's all right. Here we've got no good reading. Here is something wrong with it. Probably this MOSFET is no good. This is good. And we've got last two here. This, those two are Zener diodes, so they should beeps if I put the probes like that. Yeah. So this is normal. But it shouldn't beep if I put one probe here and one probe in the middle pin. All right, it's good. Those diodes are good. So this side of board of the board looks good for me. Let me check the octocouplers. It shouldn't beep. All right, so the octocouplers are good. So let's go on the other side of the board and what we've got here a bit dusty all right so now i'm going to go under the microscope Let's check if you don't have any burnt components. All right, I can't see nothing wrong with it. That side, any burnt components. Let me check. Let me check that diode. Not, not diode. Let me check that. You know, where is it? Okay, so this is that MOSFET, which is probably faulty. I'm not sure yet. So let's check where is on the other side. So this is this MOSFET. We got legs. Let's check this. Yeah, so this is this MOSFET, this faulty MOSFET. Probably because of this of this MOSFET, this diode is shorted, or maybe this diode is shorted to ground. You know, yeah, the whole line is shorted to ground. Yeah, this is this is the ground. Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to suck the solder up from this pin, middle one, and see if we've got shorted MOSFET or maybe shorted diode. 
I think I've got some of them somewhere. They use them only on the Philips power boards. Alright, so it's loose, the spin is loose. So let's check this now. You see, there's no short anymore. So this MOSFET is good. This MOSFET is good. The problem is this diode. Okay, so I don't want to waste my time. So next step is to remove that diode and see if you can see any difference. And we have no short anymore, so that diode was the main issue. I think so. So I'm going to replace that diode and plug this power board back to the telly and see if you can see any voltages. Or before I go to the telly, I will plug the power cable here and see if something change on the you know DC output if you can see any voltage like 5 volt 3.3 12 something like this yeah so now I need to remove that solder from the board hot air 260 my desoldering gun I'm going to plug the power cable and see if we got any voltage. So now the multimeter in the DC mode. One probe on the ground and another probe here. Alright, so let's put the look at this. We've got some voltage here. We've got 8.6. I'm not sure if this is good reading or not. Let's check some output voltages here. We've got 3.7. I think there is still something wrong with this with, with, with this power board. There is still something wrong, but you know the best way to check is, is to plug this to the telly. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Yes, we've got a light, and we've got a picture. So the TV works like now, so the problem was 
when I was testing it on my bench, the problem was uh, that the power board didn't get any feedback from the motherboard because it wasn't connected. And now, as you can see, everything is fine. All voltages have been activated. All right, the TV works. I need to put it, everything back together and test it. Okay, so as you could see, this little diode caused that TV wasn't turning on at all. No power at all. This tiny diode. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.